I've just started dating this girl, but I don't want her to know that I still live with my parents. How can I stop her from wanting to come home to my place? Signed, Jason. Uh, start a war. Because then you'll be so busy campaigning you won't have time to go home. Just don't invite your mother to come with you. I should think you should be excited to show up the lands you'll be inheriting. Unless, of course, your father decides to deny you those lands. Then might I suggest taking a large sum of his money and then wasting it on wine, women, and an army of hill people. Surely that will take away the sting. Not that I'm bitter or anything. I, I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. So you have a girl who fancies you and parents who actually let you live with them? Someone explain to me what more this greedy bastard wants. Well, you know, there's always plenty of room at Castle Black. Oh, right. And what girl doesn't love a freezing, decrepit fortress full of former criminals who've gone to celibacy? Hmm. That's not actually something girls like, is no, it? No, Jon Snow. No, it's not. I've always wanted to be an art major, but... My parents say it's a waste of time to get a degree in a field that will pay so little. How can I convince them that I have to follow my dreams? Signed, Tamara. Why do children always have to defy their parents? I don't want to marry the king. I don't want to inherit the family lands. I don't want to get rid of my secret whore. If you'd just do as they asked, you wouldn't be having these problems. Just make art your hobby on the side. For instance, my wife is queen by day and an amateur jar baby artist by night. Actually, the correct term, my king, is artisan baby pickler. You can pickle babies? As a purveyor of a form of creative expression, let me assure you that art and profit need not be separate. It's like I always tell my employees. You can make money at any profession you choose, provided you come at it from the right angles. The world needs more art. For example, I've taken up origami using some of Reek's skin. <laughs> Look! A ducky! I recently went out with a boy and stayed out too late. My parents are upset because they feel it's inappropriate for a lady of my status and have forbidden me to see him. What should I do? I really like him. Signed, Fiona from the Westerlands. Well, you could always just have a fake marriage to someone your parents approve of, for sure, and keep your boy on the side for when it's convenient for you. Something to add, my lion? Nope. Pull your heart. What could possibly go wrong? Run away with him. Someone who truly loves you will never betray you and will love you always. But if he does betray you, he'll have a moving target to practice on. Win, win. Generally speaking, if the boy truly loved you, he would have impressed your parents, taken you to a nice dinner, brought you home at a proper hour, therefore making them happy, and you happy and wanting to see him more. Oh, sure, he may be a sellsword, chiseled features, gorgeous tan, a fantastic set of abdominal muscles, but uh, um, if he had done these things, and more importantly, treated you like my Khaleesi, a Khaleesi, a prince, a, a young lady, yes, uh, that would be better. Oh, well done, well done indeed. Don't worry, because before you know it, your loving father will ship you off to some strange land where you'll be forced to marry some bipedal, half-sober bear man who flops around on top of you while yelling a dead woman's name and you'll be expected to produce many wretched cubs for him. But it's not like... Oh, he my mother, yeah. Boss, I saw, yeah. He legit hearty here, as maracas. You know, the Dothraki might be on to something there. It's 
talking about a, a girl that has boy problems, like, and he says, like, just, just take the boy and just pound him, like. <laughs> I mean, you know, they call me the tripod of the north. Fleshy ducky, you're the one. Fleshy ducky, you make life lots of fun. That's not my line either. And that's Rob Stark's motto number one.